Guys, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, subscribe and press the bell icon. Today I'm going to be talking about real maintenance. Um, very simply, when you come back from fishing, take your reel, whether it be the grinder or a multiplier or your Scarborough or your fly reel. It's as simple as this. Go to the tap, tighten your drag first. Spray it off to get off all the excess sand that might be on the actual reel. Then take lukewarm water with a little bit of sunlight liquid a little paintbrush or one of your old toothbrushes and all you want to do is dip it in the lukewarm uh, liquid that you have and you're just going to lightly rub all around your reel anywhere where there might be sand or bait that has hardened on your reel just take it and lightly rub it to get off any excess bait or sand so it's as simple as that. It's quick, it's easy. Then take it again and flush it off with lukewarm water. Put it down, take a towel or toilet paper, whatever you might have, cotton towel, and lightly dry it. Leave it to dry. After a couple of hours, take it, loosen the drag, and store in a cool, dry place. Okay. Once your reel is totally dry, after say 24 hours or whatever it might be, take it and put it into your drop sock. Okay. It's as easy as that, guys. That's the only maintenance that you have to do after fishing. But remember, as well, before you go fishing, to lubricate your reel. And what we do to lubricate the reel is very simple. What we've got here is our Dower grinder. For the grinder, you can either use the silicon spray over here to spray on your reel, especially the working parts. In other words, the bail arm area, the roller, the handle, and anywhere else that actually rotates. <coughs> When it comes to the actual lubrication part of it, what we do is take off the cast control cap or the tension knob and we just apply <coughs> a light one or two drops basically of oil onto the actual shaft because that is the main working part in the reel that goes up and down. So as far as quick maintenance goes, that's all you need to do when you get home. Okay, when it comes to servicing your own reel, and this is where it gets a little bit more tricky. Coffee grinders, you've got circlips on the top, and obviously you've got a whole bunch of washers, which when you take out, you lay them, as you've taken them out, you lay them down. Okay, most of our reels today come with Carbotex washers. They are heat resistant um, washers compared to the old days that used to have felt washers. For instance, our multipliers had felt washers in the old days. So the older the reel, the more chance they had felt washers. The newer, more modern reels have Carbotex washers. Okay, so once you've laid out your your reels and for instance this one is a Carbotex washer system a light bit of Kells grease this is a heat resistant grease um, which dissipates the heat a lot easier and faster and all you're going to do is literally just take the grease and touch it around the actual washer put it back as you've taken it out and that is your spool lubricated, ready 
for fishing purposes. When it comes to the internal parts of the reel, and again, take off the, the cap, unscrew the reel, get your main gears and oscillating gear and pinion gear. What we use is the Kingfisher grease. Okay, it's a more water repellent grease and you just touch all the working parts with our Kingfisher grease. Put everything back together. Any working bearings that you might have, the Dower oil is more than fine for it. When it comes to reels that spin a lot faster or the bearings that spin a lot faster, for instance, our multipliers, SL50s, grand waves, whatever it might be. If the reel is going to spin fast, we use a um, Kingfisher oil, which is designed for bearings. Okay, this oil is a, again, it's a heat resistant grease, which actually sticks to the um, bearing. It's like a magnetic grease, basically. So you only need a very little to lubricate the bearing. So one drop on a bearing is more than enough. It'll seep into it. It's a low viscosity one. In other words, it's very, very thin. Um, it also allows the bearing to spin faster because it's a thinner grease. Obviously, if you put a thicker grease, the bearing spins slower. You reduce your um, distance that you're going to actually cast. So that is ideal for um, using on fast moving bearings. Okay, so let's go back to our grinder again. So we've lubricated it, sorted it out, serviced it. Put our spool back on. Tension knob or cast control cap. Obviously cast control caps would be for the multipliers. And on the multiplier, the only places you really need to lubricate without taking the reel apart would be the tension knob, which is on the top. Drop one or two drops of either the Kingfisher thin oil or the thicker oil, Dower oil, onto that actual shaft that goes through onto your pinion gear. A little drop in the handle just to lubricate the handle a bit. And again, if you want to, you can take off the side plates and the bearings you can do as well. Maintenance on these reels are very, very easy. Our standard uh, Kingfisher grease works phenomenally well and it is a lot cheaper than the Kells grease on the felt washers. For instance, the SL50s, 30s, stuff like that. Okay, so maintenance of reels, very, very easy. We spend a lot of money on uh, our reels, guys, so a little bit of time after fishing, just cleaning goes a long way. Um, don't forget, if you can't do it, we can. So bring your reels into the Kingfisher and we will service them for you. Uh, it's very simple, it starts off, a service cost is about 180 Rand for a service and when it comes to servicing here at the Kingfisher, we strip it down to literally nothing. So we'll take the reel, every part comes off, it gets put into a solution which degreases everything. Then our reel repair mechanic will take it, dry it off and lubricate all the working parts and stick it back together again for you guys. Kingfisher do a wide range of Carbotex washers. Carbotex is a high-end reel product that disperses heat a lot faster and it is a silky smooth drag. That's why we use Carbotex washers these days. Um, guys, to lubricate the Carbotex washers, again, like I said, we use Kells grease for it. Just literally lightly touching the actual drag washers is all you need to do to lubricate it. Like I say, we do yeah, most uh, top-end reels. We've got a huge variety of drag washers available. Kingfisher carry a wide range of bearings. Obviously, we service reels. So, here is a card basically showing you the most popular ones that we actually do at the Kingfisher. If there's anything that you need, give us a shout. Our reel repair workshop will be able to help you. 
And again, just to quickly go through lubrication of our bearings, whether it be a SL50, grain wave, any of our grinders. High-end fast spinning reels, we'll use our Kingfisher oil, that's this clear oil over here. Any working parts, uh, pinion gears and that, we'll use this kind of oil when it comes to uh, maintenance. But literally all you're going to do is take one drop on the actual bearing and just rotate it. The oil will seep into the bearings. So there you guys, there's a few of the bearings that we actually do here at the Kingfisher. So if there's anything you need, phone our real workshop and they'll be able to help you and sort you out. Guys, one of our best lubricants for our bearings is the TSI321. Okay, so basically the TSI321 is designed for low temperatures and for high temperatures. So you can use it in the freezing cold as well in the heat of Abu Dhabi if you want. Um, it will, it stops any corrosion that might occur through oxidization. It's one of the few um, oils that actually does it. It's the, I think it's the only oil that actually does it to be honest. So for lubrication purposes, it is number one for bearing.